In Petit Badian, north of the capital Abidjan, dozens of rubber plantations have been destroyed and replaced by cassava fields. Other plantations have been abandoned altogether or are poorly maintained, covered up in weeds. Tiamoko Traore is a 42-year-old farmer. Like many people in his village in the last decade, he rushed to start rubber farming, expecting a quick return. But after a drop in rubber prices in the last year, he says he's struggling to pay his workers and is considering abandoning rubber farming. For many people, the problem is that the price of rubber has dropped and it has changed everything. Things are not the way they used to be. The farms are not maintained. Farmers have no means to buy fertilizers and there are no equipment to maintain the farms. The average rubber farm gate price, which has been falling for four years now, was at 38 cents per kilo in February 2016 and 48 cents a kilo in 2015. Now compare that to 51 cents a kilo in 2014 and a dollar and two cents way back in 2011. It's not easy today. We are scared. I gave up my studies so that I could concentrate on rubber farming and earn money for my other projects. But if the price of rubber is not good, that means all my other businesses will also fail. Traore Mamadou, president of the Rubber Farmers Association, said the drop in prices had sharply reduced farmers' incomes and reduced targets for new plantation areas. Cote d'Ivoire's government needs to make measures to improve the price of rubber and then sensitize the population to give a positive image of rubber industry. They also need to introduce courses on rubber farming and have students learn about it in college. Then we will slowly start seeing people returning back to rubber farming. Ivorian rubber production is mainly exported to the European Union, China, India, Malaysia, and the United States. About 150,000 farmers of this commodity have planted some 520,000 hectares of smaller scale plantations and an additional 50,000 hectares of larger ones. But less than half of the planned hectares have matured and will produce rubber this year. Raman Yang, CCTV.